Welcome back everyone to another beer review with me, Ruku. You know the drill by now, we always do beer reviews on some strange and wacky beers, um, such as the Desperados, Red, and your Creep, etc. Well, this one grabbed me by somewhat, with a bit of attention really. This then is a, is a Polish beer. Um, there is another version of this, but I just so happen to have a version that I can't pronounce. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to have a go. I think it's Zubra, or Zubra, even. Notice there's the accent above the Z. Uh, and I'm not even going to try and have a go at the red right in there that uh, begins with a C, C I E M N O. Not even going to have a go at pronouncing that. I, I just know I'm going to muck it up. But I'm guessing there, though, that that there in Polish probably means with a new recipe. That's my guess, a stab at Polish. Um, right, so I can't really tell you an awful lot about this beer. First time I've ever had it. I've had the similar one to this. I've had the green version, which is uh, still knocking about, surprisingly. Um, right, so other than it all being in Polish, the thing that I would just like to most say, <laughs> you can't say the Polish aren't, aren't careful with the underage drinking. As you can see there, it's got a massive 18 sign that says alcohol, something, something. So probably don't drink unless you're 18, roughly translated, I should imagine. Uh, so this then comes in at 6.5, as we can just see it. That's a bit awkward, but there, you can just see it there, 6.5. There we are. So uh, a nice moderate-ish beer for me then. You know, it's not a strong beer beer, but it's nice and it's not going to be weak, I don't think. Right, um, please note. That the head we had a disaster with, um, that's why it kind of looks like it's halfway down. Uh, the head surprisingly came well over the top there, so I had to use a foam cutter to get rid of it, and now it's had time to settle, that's what I'm left with. So it's kind of already done a job for me there then, and that, that is simply, the lacing on that is brilliant. So again, by the look of it, you're looking at another decent beer. Notice how dark this beer is. I, other than, we've had some black beers you know, pitch black, like Coca-Cola black. This, then, is a very, very dark amber, almost like a... I don't know what else you'd call it, like a... Like a, a tree sap colour, you know? Have you ever seen tree sap? If you come across those trees that bleed, you know, the weird sort of reddy, orangey, you know? Well, this is what this reminds me of, the coloration of it. That's just something beyond belief. I mean, I've never got a beer quite like that before. Um, yeah, so it's a 500 mil, and it's from Poland, so uh, good lacing. Wacky colour. Carbonation, there hardly is any. It's awkward to see, but with, you probably won't pick it up on camera, but with a naked eye, they're small bubbles, and um, they're quite continuous, small but continuous. Head then, um, I would say you, the head looks thick and creamy. Although I'm not actually sure if it is creamy, but it does look it. It's pure white and fluffy almost. Little bubbles in the head there, quite cool and compact. Polish are quite good for beer, so let's hope this lives up. Smell wise, quite deep. It's like a roasted malt almost. I think is it is it the barley malt they've used? I do believe that's what I'm getting, but it smells like it's been burnt as well. Maybe some hints of some spices in there. I don't know what. Something warming. I don't know there if that stands for uh, cinnamon, but yeah. I don't know. I don't know why I want to say that. It could be a play on words, or it could just be my brain going crazy and you know imagining things, but. Again, it smells something like a, a spice, a bit like cinnamon, maybe. But definitely like that roasted -y smell. And again, I can smell a, a, a sweet smell to it. And I can smell the alcohol a bit as well. Yeah, just a tad of the alcohol, you know. Yeah, quite a pleasant smell then, this. So, if the meerkat would give us the go-ahead, then we'll, uh, we'll taste it. As soon as it's not responded, I'll tell you that as a yes. Oh, yes. 
Oh dear, this is a cracker. I love this. This is nice. Mmm. Flavours in this is nice. Excuse me, just one minute while I'm uh, going in for another. Mmm. Oh, God, yeah. Right, where do I begin? Where do I begin? Well, full of flavour and very sweet. This is like a syrupy sweet, um, but not as strong and more overpowering than syrup. But yeah, it's got that taste to it, the syrupy taste, you know. Smooth, and it's, um, well, smooth, and, and the texture in the mouth is odd. Um, the texture is amazing. You get the carbs, it's a gentle carbonation that you get in the mouth that's smooth and it, it flurries. It's like a gentle streaming river in your mouth. It's probably the best I can describe. Um, all I can taste generally is a lot of sweetness. A lot of sweetness. It's, um, I don't know what that is. I can't put my finger on it. Um, oh, this is this is hard to explain. Do I do apologise for for me dragging this out a bit, but it's it's hard to explain. I want to say caramel, like a caramelised taste almost. Um, that like sort of caramelised taste with a hint of sweetness smoothness, gentle carbs in the mouth, virtually non-existent in the mouth to be fair, very smooth, gentle flowing in the mouth, the aftertaste is a little bit between a sweet sharpness, so there's a little sweet sharpness, so the best I can say is you you get the sweetness out of the syrupy taste, and then it, it sort of stays with you and it, it mellows with time. It mellows in the mouth. This is such a strange beer. Um, you know, I'm going to say it again. It's full of flavour. You know, but this 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 thing that it's in the mouth, the aftertaste. It's the gentle flowing of the sweetness, mellows as you go, and then all of a sudden you get a just a little sharp note that sort of arises up, and then it goes back to that sweetness. And now I've stopped drinking it. I am aware of the alcohol on my breath, um, hitting the back of my throat a little bit. It's not whiskey hit, you know, when you drink a whiskey or anything like that, or wine or whatever, or vodka. Again, you're aware of the alcohol strength, um, but ironically, you cannot taste the strength in the beer, if that makes sense. So that's, what was it, 5.5 five or 5.6 or whatever it was. Uh, oh, 6.5, sorry. Uh, 6.5. I know it's 6.5. This is so drinkable. You, you'd have no problem for getting the strength of this beer. It's so smooth. It's been well balanced together, bought together, probably with a lot of care and craftsmanship, if I'm being brutally honest. You know, I can see this beer is taking a bit of time to, you know, make. There's definitely something in it. I don't know what, but as I said, with the cinnamony smell and that sort of herby kind of thing to it, there's there's something in this, but I don't know what. Um, my taste buds aren't great at the moment due to, you know, I think I'm coming down with a bit of a cold, to be fair, but um, that's no excuse, I know. But when you taste this, it's something in it. I don't know if it's cinnamon, I don't know if it's a spice, a herb, but there's that, I would probably say, almost a borderline, like, floral taste. But the sweetness just grabs you with a floral, and it is so nice. It's it's just well brilliant. <laughs> the Polish are renowned for some strong beer, and they just um, you know some have got some clean organic water in it, such as well water. But this then no problem at all. Smooth, 
full in flavour. The alcohol here is non-existent, which is kind of good because, in a way, you're not aware that you're drinking a strong beer. This this is like taking a stroll in the park. This is like having a Budweiser and saying that secretly the Budweiser is like thirteen percent. You know, who's gonna know? Um, it just does well to deliver. The the the, the aftertaste is nice. A little bit sweet though. I can't imagine this going down too well, but yeah, a little bit sweet and potentially could get a bit sickly after a while. But the odd one or two, yeah, would be great. Absolutely, without a doubt. Food pars, as far as I'm aware, there is none because I've not experimented with this as of yet. Um, so yeah, so out of ten, then uh, I'd give it an eight and a half. And the reason I would give it a 9, but I'm going to knock it down half a point because the fact is it is quite sweet and I, I can't see a lot of people going for a sweetened beer as such, you know, with because um, it would get sickly, you know, it's a bit of a syrupy taste almost and I, I feel that some people would be put off by that and probably end up making them feel a little bit ill. But other than that, yeah, brilliant beer, good qualities about it. Quite a surprise, but I'm glad I've got it and uh, I'm glad I tried it. So, yeah, eight and a half from Poland so yeah thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and uh, add us on Facebook so until next time until the next beer review whatever that will be stay tuned and hope to see you again soon thanks for watching youtubers